okay hello and welcome everybody for this another video on transfer pricing numerical this is a different type of numerical in which we are going to see a new method and a new type of transfer pricing numerical first let us understand the question itself because unless and until you understand the question properly you will not be able to solve it accurately so here's the question a company fixes its interdivisional prices for its products on the basis of cost plus a return on investment in the division and cost plus 20% of such transfer price so there are two criteria that are used there are two methods we should say that are used to fix the transfer prices within the organization interdivisional interdivisional prices means those are your transfer prices so there are two ways in which it is done number one is the total cost per unit plus a return on investment in the division so whatever roi is expected per unit that is added to the cost of every unit that is one and secondly the total cost the actual cost per unit plus 20 percent of such transfer price so whatever the transfer price you get in the first by the first method 20 percent of that transfer price is added to the cost okay once we'll actually solve it you will get more clarity about what exactly uh, they mean by it to solve the question they have given us some data the budget for a division for a year has been prepared as follows so they have given us the budget for that division if we look at it investment in division is 7 lakh rupees debtors are 3 lakhs other current assets 5 lakhs annual fixed cost 8 lakhs variable cost per unit is 10 rupees so that is 10 rupees per unit budgeted volume for the year is 4 lakh units that means the total production expected in the year is 4 lakh units the desired return on investment what is the ROI expected is 20 percent okay and so what they have asked us is to determine the transfer price for the division on the basis of the two criteria first one is cost plus return on investment and second is cost plus 20 percent of such return on investment okay let's see how to do it one by one here is your solution first what they expected what they expect is the transfer price is based on cost plus roi that is return on investment so for that first we need to calculate the cost cost per unit is necessary so when we see the calculation of cost first we'll look at the annual fixed cost that is given as 8 lakh rupees so fixed cost per unit would come down to what we have to do is annual fixed cost that is 8 lakh rupees should be divided by the budgeted volume how many units are they going to produce in this year that is 4 lakhs so when you divide 8 lakhs by 4 lakhs you get 2 rupees per unit 2 rupees per unit comes your annual fixed cost then you come to variable cost per unit variable cost per unit is already given to us as 10 rupees per unit that's the variable cost which is already given to us so the total cost comes in as fixed cost plus variable cost fixed cost plus variable cost that is fixed cost is 2 rupees per unit and variable cost is given as 10 rupees per unit so the total cost comes in as 12 rupees per unit okay now we have calculated the total cost per unit now let us calculate the return on investment now before going to return on investment we should know what is the total value of investment in that case because unless and until we know the value of investments we cannot calculate the returns on that now out of the given budget what all things would come under investment category first is investment in division then debtors and current assets all these three are the investments on this division first is investment in division is given as 7 lakhs debtors are 3 lakhs 
and current assets were are worth 5 lakhs. So 7 plus 3 plus 5 lakhs gives us total of 15 lakhs. So the total investment is of 15 lakh rupees. The total investment is 15 lakh rupees. So now once we have got the investment, let us calculate the ROI that is the return on investment. How do we calculate that? It is given that the expected return on investment is 20% of the total investment. When ROI is expected as 20%, which means it is 20% of the total investment. So 20% of 15 lakhs, 20 upon 100 into 15 lakhs, we get it as 3 lakh rupees. So return on investment is expected to be 3 lakh rupees. So if 3 lakh rupees is the total return on investment, see when we are calculating the transfer price, it is expected that it should be per unit. Only then it would be called as price. Okay, so we need, we are interested in calculating the per unit price. So for per unit transfer price, we should know the per unit return on investment. So what we simply do is the return on investment is 3 lakhs and the budgeted volume is 4 lakhs. So simply divide the return on investment that is 3 lakhs by 4 lakh rupees. Sorry, 4 lakh units, 3 lakh rupees upon 4 lakh units we get it as 0 0.75 rupees 0 0.75 rupees per unit comes as the return on investment per unit so now we have already got the cost and we have also got the roi per unit so calculation of transfer pricing becomes very simple at this stage transfer price becomes cost plus roi cost is 12 rupees roi is 0 0.75 rupees so the actual transfer price comes in as 12 rupees 75 paise per unit or 12.75 rupees per unit. This is your transfer price by using the first method of cost plus ROI. The second part, the second method says cost plus 20% of such transfer price. So here we'll need two things. 20% of the previous transfer price and cost per unit. Previous transfer price we have calculated as 12.75 rupees per unit. 20% of 12.75 comes in as 2 rupees 55 paise that is 2.55 is the 20% of 12.75 and cost per unit we have already calculated as 12 rupees per unit. So the new transfer price comes in as cost plus 20% of such transfer price that is 12 plus 2.55 rupees that comes down to 14.55 rupees per unit. This is your new transfer price that you have calculated by the second method. Okay, so this was a new topic rather a new type of problem that you get usually in transfer pricing. I expect every one of you should practice this. By the way, this is a question which has been asked in many university examinations. So I'll urge everybody to practice this question a lot and watch this video again and again to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. All the best everybody. Thank you.